Hello everybody. The topic I'm going to tell you today is activity 2.1 and you can read the question very carefully. For each of the following utility functions, write down the equation for an indifference curve and then draw some indifference curves. So what you have to do is, first of all, you have to write down equation for indifference curve and indifference curve is a graph which shows constant utility at each level of consumption of two goods. Sometimes what we do is we consume more units of one good and less units of second good and sometimes we consume more units of second good and lesser units of first good. However, both combinations will give equal level of satisfaction. Indifference curve then it looks like this. Indifference curve looks like this, okay? like a rectangular hyperbola and it is always convex to the origin. Okay? This is origin point and it is always bowed inward or it is convex to the origin. And this indifference curve shows constant or equal level of satisfaction. For example, if this IC shows 100 units of satisf satisfaction, then each combination along this IC curve a combination A, B or even C, all combinations will give equal level of satisfaction that is 100 units. So you have to keep in mind this basic important thing relevant to indifference curve. Okay, first of all, if we draw equations for indifference curve from these given uh, scenarios, first scenario is option A is utility of X and Y is equal to X into Y. So you can write it as and now you can um, as I have told you earlier that indifference curve shows same level of satisfaction at each combination level. So we can write utility of X and Y as constant K. Constant mean value of utility will remain the same. So utility of X and Y collectively is some constant value and we can write it as constant is equal to x into y. Now if we have to find out the value of x or units of x, quantity of x, then what we can do is we can just move y to the other side of equation and it will be k over y. Now if we have to find out the value of y, then value of y will be equal to y is equal to k over k over x. Now we have to move x to the other side of equation and it will be k over x. And if we consider that the constant utility is let's say two units in total, then we can find out different combinations of x and y. For example, if k is equal to if k is equal to two and if I put this um, to value 2 in this equation, equation 1 let's say, then it will be 2 over y and if I put this value into second equation then it will be y is equal to 2 over x. Okay, as per these equations of indifference curve, we can find out different combinations of x and y which give equal level of satisfaction that is 2 units. For example, if consumer purchases two units of Y, then he will have to buy one unit of X for the same level of satisfaction, that is two units. And how did I find this value? I find this value by putting value of Y2 in this equation, 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So if I purchase two units of Y, then I can purchase one unit of X to get the same level of satisfaction. On the other hand, if consumer purchases two units of X, then he can purchase one unit of Y. And again, we can put the value in this equation. Since total satisfaction is two, if consumer purchases two units of X, then it means he will have to purchase one unit of Y to get the same level of, level of satisfaction. These are the equations of indifference curve. First, requirement of this question was to write down the equation of indifference curve. Then you have to draw indifference curves. 
Okay, if we draw indifference curves, then they they will look like this. For example, we have x good on x and y good on y axis. These x and y are two different goods. They can be anything. An indifference curve will look like this. And this indifference curve shows that consumer will get satisfaction equal to two units at each combination of x and y. For example, if consumer purchases at combination A, it means he is purchasing two units of Y and he is purchasing one unit of X and at combination B, he is purchasing one unit of Y, one unit of Y and two units of X. But again, combination A and B both will give him equal level of satisfaction, that, that is two units. Now, another important information is if we change the value of K from 2 to 3, then indifference curve will move upward. Then indifference curve will be this. Let's say now K is equal to 3. It means now each combination along this IC1 will give him equal level of satisfaction. Now each combination along IC1 will give him same level of satisfaction, that is 3 units. And again, if we further move this indifference curve upward to IC2, then it shows that now consumer can get more satisfaction. Let's say it's four units or five units. And now each combination along IC2 will give consumer four units of satisfaction. So combination A or combination both of them will give the same level of satisfaction. Okay, now moving to the second scenario. Utility of X and Y is equal to X plus Y. And this is answer for B. Utility of X and Y is equal to X plus Y. And again, we can write constant here. And it is X plus Y now. And if we have to find out the value of X, then it will be K minus Y. Just move Y to the other side since now it is a plus sign here. This is plus sign. So it when we move plus Y to the other side, it will be minus Y, K minus Y. And if we have to find the value, find out the value of Y, then it will be K minus X. And it happens in case of perfect substitute. If X and Y are perfect substitute, mean they can be, they can easily replace each other, then graph will look like this this time indifference curve will be a straight line and this is origin point and this is x good and this is y good so x and y are perfect substitute and they can easily replace each other and the third situation option c is utility of x and y what are the minimum units of x and y which are required to be purchased for a certain level of satisfaction. And it happens when two products are perfect complements to each other. And perfect complements mean those goods which complete each other. For example, red and blue pen. Red and blue pen are perfect substitutes for each other. Or and other example that is more appropriate, right and left shoe. For example, if you have to purchase pair of shoes, then you will have to purchase right and left shoe to complete it. If a consumer has two right shoes and one left shoe, then it means he has only one perfect pair of shoes. So two right shoes does not make it two pair of shoes. Rather, it will perfectly make one pair of shoe. So the utility of two right shoes and one left shoe is exactly same as one right shoe and one left shoe. So keep this really important thing in mind. If we draw graph for this, then graph will look like this if consumer 
For example, consumer purchases one right shoe. This is one right shoe. And he purchases one left shoe, then he gets a certain level of satisfaction. For example, it's two units of satisfaction. But if he decides to purchase two right shoes and one left shoe, then he will get exactly the same level of satisfaction. And it will be true if he purchases two units of left shoe and one unit of right shoe, then again he will get the same level of satisfaction. So it makes no sense for the consumer to to purchase two right shoes and one left shoe or two left shoe shoes and one right shoe because all these combinations will give him the satisfaction level equal to one right and one left shoe however it is not necessary that the proportion to remain the same that is one to one in many cases the proportion may be different for example in case of tea and sugar tea and sugar are also complements to each other because tea and sugar complement each other if a person uses two spoon of sugar for one cup of tea and then the proportion will be like this for example for a cup of tea he will have to purchase two units of sugar suppose x is tea and y is sugar in general, utility of X and Y can be written as utility of X and Y is equal to AX BY and we can use Cobb Douglas utility function to explain this as well and that was utility of X and Y is equal to X power A Y power B and in this scenario A must be greater than 0 and B must be greater than 0. So there can be multiple scenarios to explain this phenomena. So this is it. Hope it was helpful.